Hello, this is Spartacus here, and welcome to another video where I do apologize that I haven't uploaded in the past couple of days because I've been really busy, and today I decided to make another video, and I just happened to be sick today, which, God, it really sucks, and the worst part is, while making this video, there's this fly that's been flying around my room, and it's just, like, super annoying. I Hopefully, hopefully you guys can't even hear it, because, oh my God, this fly is annoying, but anyway, we are going to be doing another Hero Gear, like, video for you guys, basically, easy guide how to get it, and I realized that I've been kind of jabbering, blabbling, whatever you want to call it, talking forever about, like, these steps that really aren't really easy guys how to get them. Uh, for example, I would be telling like you guys how to get, uh, basically how to get hero gear, then I'll give you the tips. Well, all of you guys should already know how to get hero gear. So first, you have to get all the gear, you gotta get 800 kills with, a, with this character. And by the way, I'm doing battery today. And so anyway, you need like 800 kills with battery, not hard, doesn't even have to be with like the specialist uh, weapon or ability. Um, then you have to get like 20 kills with connect armor, then you have to get 20 or 40 kills with the war machine, which you can get over time, not even that hard. And then you have to get uh, two kills rapidly while having connect armor on, and if you do that two times, which is easy, and then like it's like three, like a double kill with war machine. Like, and you have to do that with, like, three times or something like that. I don't know. It's not even that hard. I'm just not even going to go over it, like, in the these next uh, Easy Guide videos because everybody should know those steps already. It's the actual hero gear part that you want to get. So I'm just going to get straight to it. So here you go. To get the actual hero gear helmet for battery, because this is the character I'm going to be, like, doing today. So anyway, the helmet for battery. To get the hero gear helmet, you have to kill four enemies in a game while your kinetic armor is active four times. So basically, really simple. In one game, you just need four kills while your connect armor is active. It does not have to be four kills um, at the same time in just one use of the kinetic armor. You could like get connect armor four times in one game and each time you earned it, uh, you'll get one kill and that will still count towards this challenge. And you have to do that four times so you have to play four separate matches in order to actually get the helmet which honestly it's not too hard because the easiest way to get connect armor kills is pretty much play hardcore mode if you guys are a big fan of hardcore mode i definitely recommend it even though i really should get into groove back and playing that again but anyway yeah just play hardcore mode like once you activate connect armor you technically you technically do have more health than the enemy you are shooting unless they have connect armor i guess uh but you connect armor will help you in situations hardcore mode you won't die as easily as an enemy in front of you and once you get it's easy to get kills in hardcore mode too it only takes like one bullet to like with like any single every weapon in the pretty much game and so it's just i don't know i just find hardcore mode to be really easy so that's the best tip i can give you guys for the connect armor now of course you don't have to play hardcore as a matter of fact you could probably do this in like normal public matches um that aren't hardcore games and stuff like that i mean honestly this challenge is really not the hard there should be like no trouble getting this whatsoever and so for the body gear which of course is like the main whole entire person basically so anyway to get the hero body gear you have to kill six enemies in a game with the war machine six times. So this one is actually kind of difficult. I had a little trouble doing this. And what I did to actually get this is I played Safeguard. And it wasn't just Safeguard. I think I played Ground War. And then every time Safeguard would pop up, I'd vote for Safeguard on Ground War. And it was just so much easier. And the reason, I'll tell you guys why it was easy to do that is because since you need six kills um, in one game while using the war machine now you can of course you can earn the war machine more than once in a game so the reason why i played safeguard is because enemies at least when you're defending anyway there's going to be a lot of enemies near the robot so once you shoot that war machine at the robot not only are you disabling the robot to help your team get a victory but there's also going to be enemies around that robot so you can get multiple kills and probably with one shot with the war machine uh, when you like shoot it near the robot because there's going to be enemies that want to transport it, you know? And so playing Ground War, there's actually more enemies in Ground War um, than any other game mode. And so when you play Safeguard on Ground War, there's a lot more enemies, so it gives you more opportunities to kill people, and you might have better chances of getting double kills and stuff like that, um, which is what I did with the War Machine. I played Safeguard in it, and I got it easily, and that's the same thing I did with the Gravity Spikes. I made a video a while back on the Hero Gear guide for the uh, Ruin character. 
um, but for battery, using the War Machine, I just safeguard, Ground War Safeguard is probably a lot better, especially the map Hunted. My like Hunted is literally my favorite map when it comes to safeguards, especially on Ground War, because I just get so many kills, like I got like 80 kills one time while playing Ground War on the game mode Safeguard on the map Hunted, and oh man, it was just absolutely amazing, but of course I wasn't able to get go back on theater mode to get it, because for some reason theater mode didn't save it, and it pissed me off so much. But anyway, yes, to get the War Machine kills for the Hero Body Gear, play Safeguard or play Ground War. Ground War Safeguard, if you will, because that's the probably the, that's what I did. I played Ground War Safeguard, and it was just so easy to get this. It was no trouble at all. But of course, you guys got to be careful when you actually get kills with the War Machine. You don't want to pull it out when you're in the middle of like a gunfight, because once you pull it out in the middle of a gunfight, the enemy kills you, and then you have to wait until your like meter becomes refilled again, and it, no one likes that, likes, ha like, no one likes that. Just no one loves like when that happens. It just sucks. But anyway, just be careful um, when you pull it out um, at all times. And of course, just like I said, play Ground War Safeguard. That's the best tips I can give you. So there you go. This is probably the shortest hero gear guide I've ever done because I totally skipped the steps where you need like double kills with the War Machine or double kills with the uh, Kinetic Armor. Honestly, that's uh, those are. I'm not gonna go over those anymore. I do kind of regret doing that in the past, but for now, I'm just gonna be doing the actual hero gear part. So just to get straight to the point, you know, because everyone should know how you actually get to the hero gear challenges. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, please be sure to leave a rating for if you guys feel this video deserves. And don't forget to leave a like down below because if every time you leave a like, um, it donates one dollar to my sickness that I have right now. I I mean, I'm just messing with you guys. I don't have a seriously bad sickness. But I have a sore throat and I think I'm developing a cold. It just sucks right now And I haven't uploaded in a few days and I had to make a video today And so oh my man, it really it's really hard making videos when you're sick But anyway, hope you guys all enjoyed and don't forget to leave a comment what you guys think of this video Do you think this was helpful in any way? What do you guys think of the battery character battery character is a pretty badass character connect armor You have a little bit more health so you can probably win gunfights easier And of course the war machine is great for taking out objectives. So wait anyway I hope you guys all enjoyed, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more content, mostly Call of Duty content, and I shall catch you guys later.